Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halsey here and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Uh, today in my redstone test world and back there you can see the prototype for uh, the end gate we built last time. But today we have to deal with shulker boxes, empty ones that we want to fill. And while well, there are quite a few uh, uh, designs out there, I thought maybe uh, let's let's do it um, a bit differently and build or let's come up with uh, something of our own um, design here. So what we will do here, we have a chest to collect full shulk boxes and then here we have Solsen on which uh, the shulk box will sit to be filled um, let's place one right there and let's take half a stick out right so and we because we have quite a lot of forms that are fast we filled shulk box from two sides and then um, let's place a temporary block there um, and we will have the dispenser sitting there so that's where the shulk box comes from uh, or empty shulk boxes are placed and then Let's add temporary block up there, and then we will have a piston facing down. So, come on, All right? Don't need that block. Um, Maybe we want to have chest up here so we can have more shulker shells. Um, and there we probably want to have an observer. Maybe a normal block would also do the trick. So we're facing down. That's not the observer. That's the observer. Right. So next we will need to figure out when this shulk box is full. And we do that with a comparator. And uh, like this, you can see, uh, now you can see, we get a signal of 14 because it's almost full. Um, but we want to get a signal out only if it is completely full, which would be a signal of strength 15. And we do that uh, by placing uh, redstone here on the side, pulling it, putting into the comparator, which has signal strength 15. So only once the uh, uh, shulker is full we get the signal out and then we can wrap this around here and uh, we shall have an observer there on one tick and i imagine that we will have an item stream going uh, along this way so we have this like so and then a solid block here in the middle and we transfer the signal from this side over there then it is observed uh, and a new box is dispensed but of course first the uh, the piston is powered and um, uh, the shulker box broken and because we have soul sand down here which is not a full block uh, the broken box can be picked up by the hopper and will end up here. So 
Now, let's see if that works. Let's put in a bit of soul sand here. And then we should see how this is broken. And um, yeah, it would have helped if we had any empty box in there. Um, you know, let's place a few. And to make things easier, uh, let's just uh, place a full box there and we get a new one. And down here we have our two filled boxes. Uh, I think that works out quite nicely. Uh, we do not need to peek, be able to peek into the box there. Um, uh, that would not work. Uh, but yeah, think that does it. We can place this system now in our world. And the first use case I'm thinking of is the uh, bone meal form uh, where we currently have one hopper going into the chest and the farm is a bit too fast to keep up with just one hopper. So I think this system will do nicely there. I managed to squeeze it in and down there we have the three boxes that were at the bone mill in the chests. Uh, this one is already partially filled, so let's turn this bad boy on and then we shall see how this is working. Um, and I'm thinking we shall have another of this lotus for our cobblestone. Uh, maybe for iron. Um, probably also for birch and um, uh, spruce wood. So basically all the items that we have in uh, uh, bulk storage over there. And then eventually we will have to uh, see what we can do with the, with the smelting array. Because out of that, of course, we can have multiple outputs um, and I'm thinking I want a shulker filler for stone and smooth stone and then basically all the rest goes into uh, uh, normal chests. But we can see this is working. Uh, we get uh, the um, the bone mill over here. Uh, here we have actually two hoppers where we could get rid of this one. Uh, only use that and that. And in here we have quite a few boxes uh, on the side. And uh, now you can also see why it was important to build this up high. So we have the space to build downwards from this and uh, we are not done yet um, because if we want to do something in an automated way with the filled shulkers we have to pull them out of this chest again and then do something with it. And over there we do not have entirely that much space, but I think we will manage for the wood. We will have to uh, uh, add a sorter uh, below to sort out birch and uh, spruce uh, and all the other woods and goodies would still go into the, the normal chests there. So that's quite a bit of work for me to uh, to cover um, so you don't have to watch me doing it uh, let's make an end to this episode and uh, you can join me next time 
uh, when we will tackle something very similar. Until then, goodbye!